so for today, uh, I had somebody ask me, I, I figured out a way that I was converting my Native Instruments m machine expansions into MPC expansions that show up in the list and everything like that. And uh, I had bought the Ultimate Collection a while back from Native Instruments, and there's a ton of great stuff in there, but I end up using the MPC Live a lot more often just because it's portable. You know, and but there's a lot of great stuff in some of those expansion kits. Uh, you know, so I wanted to figure out a way. Well, how can I get that stuff off? You know, and not just have them. You know, not just move the sounds over, which is easy enough, but also, you know, like use them as kits and get the previews and all that stuff. So I found this tool, and it's pretty wicked. It's called Kit Maker, and it basically, you know, it was written specifically for this this function, right? So uh, it does a couple other cool things. First off. You know, you could pick the regular mode where it's just going to lay out all the pads the way that is pretty the generic layout where, you know, kicks and snares at the, you know, one, two, three. Uh, I actually f made a different custom version of it because I put my kits vertical, you know, so I could play them like this. But that's just me. Um, so you don't have to do that if you're used to this way or if you don't do finger drum stuff and you're just programming it, then it doesn't really matter where they're at. So anyway, the way it works is basically you drop the library folder from the machine install in here. Then you could pick an output format and you just export it from here and it's going to do basically all the heavy lifting for you. So this isn't really a tutorial about me being a genius. It's a tutorial about me figuring out something that someone made that is a genius and <laughs> works. So all right go in my uh pro audio native instruments folder here and you get to pick this when you install this stuff you get to pick uh where it's going so i have it on an external drive because my new stupid mac it doesn't have enough space to put really anything on it so all right let's see we'll just pick one at random here we will take uh who do i want basement era you you're up so this is the stock after install from Native Access. This is where it installs it by default. All the samples and sounds and groups and all the stuff. I'm just going to take this whole library folder like this and drop that right over here. Now in the settings for this thing, when you go to output them, you can pick right here, uh, export kits to original library locations. Uh, if not, it goes to the desktop, which is cool, but if you're converting a ton of them and you, like me, don't have a lot of space on your new Mac because they stole your SD card slot, then, you know, it doesn't make sense to try and drop a ton of them, you know, if you're going to be moving, because you could do, you don't have to do them one at a time. We can, you know, I can drag more libraries over here and it'll batch process them, which is pretty sweet. So, anyway... This one, I'm just, I have it go into the same directory, which actually in this folder here, if I go down further, it'll actually gen generate its own, in the case, it's going to generate its own, uh, its own kit, its kit maker folder. So we're going to just, that's it. We drop it in, we hit make kits, bloop, see it just opened one up, kit maker kits, it's starting to build it. Machine kits, basement era library. So it just took this and converted. You can see it converted, uh, you know, it moved all the samples and it made a bunch of XPM files from the MXGRP file. I think that's the machine version, machine group file or whatever. Uh, so that's it. Kit finished, done. So now this is in MPC format, which is pretty sweet. Uh, you, you know, you can just open these and use them as is, but there's actually a whole extra step that you could take to then convert these into uh, expansions, which I will show you how to make an expansion in a video, in the next video coming up here. But for now, well, let's just open one of these up in the MPC software. MPC, come on, buddy. All right. And... Boop, there we go. There you have it. So that's how you uh, use KitMaker to export a machine kit. Now let's turn it into an expansion show. It shows up in our list like this and we can upload it into the expansions uh, area at MPC Live or X or One or whatever you got.